Okay, so I have had some issues with the cistern freezing on me. Um, if it gets down below, anywhere below 10 degrees, especially if it's been a couple of nights where it's been below 10 or so degrees, it can freeze. As you can see, I have tried putting some insulation on the pipe. And I've also uh, tried installing one of those uh, floating pond heaters. And so far, uh, that, that hasn't been very effective. Um, and I think it's freezing where it's uh, coming out of the pipe there. So I purchased one of these in-pipe heating cable units from Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description. Um, it did require changing the pipe to a little bit thicker pipe. This is uh, three-quarter inch PEX. Uh, and uh, it's just a leftover there. I ended up having to buy quite a bit more than I needed uh, at the hardware store because I couldn't really buy it by the foot where I am. Uh, but I've got it installed, and you can see it's in, and it's got the uh, in-pipe heating cable in it and a little float uh, that I made out of a, a bottle uh, to keep the end um, just about 18 inches below the surface of the water. And uh, inside... It has um, this, uh, this T in line here, and you can see that uh, the cable comes out on the house side and goes out, goes to the plug, and then it continues through straight through the T and down the pecs, the blue pecs there, and the water comes out through the uh, half inch barb fitting that I have threaded into the uh, side of the T there. So uh, just basically just plug it in and I don't have a switch set up any, or anything for it. I may do that later. So let's check the uh, power consumption of this thing. So uh, set this to wattage and uh, plug it in and see what she draws. So as you can see, it's still under 300 watts, so uh, hopefully it won't take very long with it powered on to clear a uh, frozen pipe, but that's not too bad. <laughs> 